Good morning. Welcome to Adu and the Guru on another Monday, the 5th of September. as Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. And good to have you tuned in at this point in time. Uh, join the conversation this morning and let's get talking. Our WhatsApp line is active for now. 0809-234-5913 as the number to use to join us. Um, uh, let us know your thoughts in the meantime. Uh, WhatsApp and Twitter, of course. Twitter at Lagos Talks 913. Later in the course of the show, we'll then allow you to call in and you can join the conversation. Well, which way Nigeria? Typical song we always start with because the stories just keep coming. Anyway, we'll be talking about them and more here on the show. So brace yourself for historical perspective, knowledge drop box, uh, periscoping, and lots more. Today is a packed show. And of course, it will never be Adu and the Guru without, of course, the editor at large of the newsguru.com, the man with the historical perspective, the one who is a veteran journalist with well over 45 years of stellar journalistic work. And uh, today he'll be bringing all of that graciousness to the microphone to help us make sense of all the stories that are in the news. I'm talking about none other than Mr. Gordon Itaki Buebu, the guru, the share guru guru himself. Good morning and welcome, sir. How many times would I be correct here? I do. You started again to say Sheikh Guru Guru. It's called. She- I'm not, it's not my title. Sheikh Guru Guru. You wore it on me. <laughs> so, complete the Sheikh Guru Guru. Okay, Guru Guru. Guru Guru. Guru. The Sheikh Guru Guru. Guru ah, Guru. <laughs> yes, uh, good morning, Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. You are welcome to Adu and the Guru, the segment that we wait for on daily basis to come in appearance because what we get here, fact remains, we will never, never get them elsewhere. So you are welcome. You are welcome. Uh, today, we have much to discuss. As, uh, we shall not be getting too far away from the menu. We shall call the menu. We shall do things. But I will start as I should start. Professor Ginado, who taught uh, who taught in uh, uh, the Lord School of Journalism uh, about how many years ago now? Uh, <laughs> over 50 years ago. Said, if you find it difficult to start a story, go back to the beginning and start from the beginning. <laughs> if you find it difficult to start a story, go back to the beginning so that you can start from the beginning. Because if you go back to the beginning of that story and you are starting from there, you will never find it difficult to tell the story anymore. Mm. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, today, I want to say happy birthday to two people. Demitokwe Adeyemi is the Zylos subsidiary managing director. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And it's my guest today. I do. Yes. Look at his face again and tell me what you are seeing. What did you see? Um, I'm seeing money. <laughs> <laughs> you are seeing money. <laughs> Hope you are not going to say like that man who man when Jesus asked him what did you see? He says he <laughs> said he saw men like as trees. Who, like trees. <laughs> so this is Betty. Where is my bear? The meet up where they are me. The uh, subsidiary managing director of Zygos. Yes, Happy birthday to you. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm so And happy. let me report to listeners. He walked in. He waka come alone. You know. I mean, not you waka come so. <laughs> he did not bring any keko. I'm just ringing the bell you know, to celebrate him. So, out there, don't ever think that the big cake he brought... That the guru have eaten it all. That the guru, because <laughs> I do said he saw money. Mm. <laughs> and uh, two of you are almost wearing the same color. Well, yes, but he's the one who has the money. And uh, uh, you people did not bring me to this uh, fashion parade show. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay. 
I will allow some children to make me a beggar. <laughs> 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 I will not beg. <laughs> I will not beg. All right. So happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday. Uh, then I have another person far away, but I must celebrate him. That is uh, Bishop Matu Hassan Kuka. Mm. He became 70. Last week or last two weeks. Mm-hmm. That man is worthy of celebration. One must celebrate him. If you know what is good, then you have no authority but to celebrate him. Bishop Matthew Hazan Kuka is from Kaduna State, not from Sokoto. Mm. He is not a Fulani. He was born on August 31st, 1952. Mm. Almost, the same, almost the same time that uh, Ahmed Bola Tinubu was born. It was for that is that Ahmed Bola Tinubu told him that I am few months your senior, so respect me as your senior. Ashana is the name of his village in Ikunu Shevdon, in the Zagon Katav, local government area of Kaduna State. When you measure Zagon Katav, you will forget a network, a major general network that was actually set to death because of this battle between the full landings and the landowner until he was rescued. So he came up that place. The father name was Viset and the mother name was Hawa. Viset Kuka, the mother name was Hawa Kuka. Uh, he went to set Fidelis Primary School, Zagom. By his name and everything, the narration of meaning he was born into a community of Christians. He was born a Christian and he grew up as a Christian and today, like as I keep telling people that uh, when you see a man who is very, very successful within the community and is a man, big adult, you don't need to refer to him as area boys. You just call him area father. <laughs> uh, I told you that this morning. Even. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, you're looking at me. Do I look like area? But I'm not area father. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is why I'm the national youth, youth leader. Youth leader. Of Nigeria Association. Under your mentorship. Anyway, <laughs> I do. And this man, hunger for acquisition of education became unlimited. He grew up like that and like that and like that and like that. He was ordained a Catholic priest on December 19th, 1976. And he was there in the Gidambako Catholic Mission in Zagon Kataf Luka Government area. The ordination was coordinated by his Grace Archbishop Emeritus Peter Jatau and Reverend Father J.C. Murphy, then assisted by another Reverend Father J. O'Brien. And since then, the man had laid his hand on the plow. He has never, never looked back. He enjoyed everything. Is this a little busy or what they call it? Yes. All right. I remember one of his interviews when he said that. Who told you that as a zero father who has often that sometimes I don't have the feeling that I should go out with a woman and do what men and women normally do? Then we have it. He said, but the discipline in you, the fear of God in you, will caution you against that. Now, 
let me move straight away. By the time he went to the University of Bradford, the United Kingdom in 1980, to obtain his PhD, then School of Orator Africa Study in 1990, plus many other schools that he has been to. He is a man that is always prepared, in most cases at the risk of his life, speaking truth to power. Because if he are speaking truth to power faithfully, with the fear of God, and you are daring, your life, the, 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 the life is almost the IOU of the loser of that game. But if God is with you, who can stand against you? Mm. That has been... So. Uh, in the days of Bamangida, unto Abasha, it was not easy. Pope Paul, late, came to Nigeria during the days of Abasha. And uh, he was in Oba. Oba is a town in after Onisha, so you heading towards the Uwiri Road before you come to Ihiala, because at Oba you can turn your left now to Zobulu, from there to uh, you can boss Ugidi, you can turn your right somewhere there, you come to uh, Newiazis, mm-hmm. you can go to Ubidi, you move all the way around. That was where the Pope carried out the ceremony. But he was received in Abuja. And I remember vividly like yesterday, the day the Pope came. The Pope was all white. The head of state then, General Sani Ambasha, was all black for whatever reason. Dark. Totally dark. From that is a uh, sun cheat, which is always. Everything about him was dark. By that time, Kuka had gone really a known personality all over the world because of his ability to see through to power. Hmm. But he was there, one of those who received the Pope. That was March 19. 98. And he has participated in too many things. One of them was a member of the reconciliation. Is it reconciliation? No. Justice uh, Buddha uh, panel. Uh, is, it reconcil- is, it, is it reconciliation? Mm. That every fact about Nigeria military and co and co were divulged. And of course, every every of those things that was there cannot be used in court of law against any other person. That is why those who killed uh, Abiola's wife uh, came and narrate how they killed Abiola. So, Bishop Kuka had be uh, National Political Reforms Conference. That's it. Uh, the Ogunuche med- Meditation Mediation. Uh, electoral reform committee. He has done nearly everything in this world. When Yara Dua became president and admitted that the process that brought him in as a pre- president was faulty, mm. and decided to set up a committee to look at it with reformation purposes, which had Justice West as chairman. Kuka was a member of that, and. He has produced a lot of papers, he has produced books, he has produced too much for the whole world. And the peace committee now that is dealing with those who want to contest election, which had a um, uh, general, retired general Abdul uh, Absalam Abubaka mm-hmm. as the chairman, he is the covenant. Who is the covenant? So for these reasons and many more that time might be failing me if I should back and quote them is why I celebrate Kuka today Bishop mind you Hassan, Hassan Kuka at 70 the bear has gone out and it went out louder than Big Ben in London. 
seven times, signifying 70 years. You shall celebrate more years, Kuka. The God that has been taking care of you will keep taking care of you. You shall be more useful to the international community, to the world community. And historically, your step that were marked with gold will remain and survive times. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Amen. good thing is that it's a, a Christian. So that's that. So Adu, can you please give us the menu? Oh yes, sir. The menu for today has eight items and I will start from the very top. Item number one, we can... Others were children when we started PDP, the words of IU, and was captured in the Tribune newspaper. Item two, break in. We will help PDP lose election. Wiki made that counter statement. And the, PD, uh, the Daily Post has the story. Item three, NNPC can justify 6.34 trillion Naira petrol subsidy. The words of custom boss and was from Punch. Item 4, Navy disagrees with Petroleum Ministry, others over quantity of stolen oil. That's from the Vanguard. Item 5, Jonathan narrates how he spent a whole night to resolve ASU strike. This day newspaper has that story. Item 6, Pandora Papers, new UK law to end secret property investments by Nigerians and others. This is from the Premium Times. Uh, item 7, Pandora's Papers when failure to in what failure to investigate prosecute suspected violators may cost nigeria and that is from the premium times as well and lastly nigerian immigration explains different passport fees in northern and southern states and daily post had that story thank you very much uh thank you very very much uh now we can orders we achieve where we started PDP. That was the statement credited to Ayu. Yes, sir. That is Senator Iyoha Ayu, the national chairman of the PDP. PDP. I don't think we need to do too far on these matters because the Wiki saga is taking us across. But very soon it's resulting somewhere. Then we cannot answer are you that yes, we are children. Are you statement was tormenting those that the God will destroy they, they always must be made mad hmm. because if there was a statement that Atikwa Baka will need for now, it could it have been that one from are you? I keep saying that you don't need to disdain a leper because you are making your cow. He, he has no fingers to make, as you would do. They, because the fingers are chopped off. Hmm. So he has no fingers. But if you disdain him on his way coming to you, what is left? The hand, the palm that is left with that finger. It's enough to throw away everything <laughs> It's about to, eh, uh, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> it will take the leper two seconds, not, to scatter, one, not to five seconds, you. to throw away everything you make. Meaning, you are the one going away as a terrible loser. It is like when two people challenge themselves on a, a play, type of play, where? Say, okay, are there sand? Yeah, yeah there's sand. Pack the sand, pack the sand, and let's pour it on our head. All I need to do is you're inviting me for that. I want to look at your head. Do you have hair? If you don't have hair, I should remind myself that I have hair. Because if I pour the sand on my head with hair, <laughs> it will take time for that sand to evaporate. As but to you, who does he have? Who does he have? All you need to do is to do like this, everything <laughs> gone. So I've always advised people that before you go into battles, where is the immediate gain now, with this sometime, and in the long run? So... Atikwa Baka carry a lot. He has, he has not bowed his head for the past 300 years. Let's put it that way. And at this point, Wike has no hair on his head. So why would Abu Baka, Atikwa Baka be want to tolerate and encourage somebody that 
uh, who is bringing sand for Atikwa Baka with his bushy hair? Wiki with Golimapa, so to say, mm. to play with. So if there's one thing that Atikwa Baka wouldn't need now, but if it is being expected for Atikwa Baka to antagonize uh, Ayu, he, w- he will not. He will not. But he should be able to talk to him behind. And he should be able to withdraw him from the public domain. Because the moment he got that ticket as the presidential candidate of the party, he is now the leader of the party. Hmm. Every other person is under him. You remember Senator Abdullah Adam, Adamu, uh, uh, Abdullah Adam, when Balatinubu uh, made the statement, a milo con, a milo con in Abekuta. When he narrated that, uh, who was he talking to? He was narrating, he was narrating a true story that happened. But APC camp, except one man that agreed with him, and that is the Shetima, who is now his only mate. But APC camp said, oh no, he, even David uh, Lawa uh, Babashi said that. You you wouldn't have been the only person. Why would you go and say that? But the man merely reminded the whole and he told them at a back that I'm saying this for the first time with my mouth. I've never said this to any person before. You know the word they have to a way of gagging people. <laughs> Abdullah is sat in uh, Abuja and said, uh, Tinubu will be punished. It will be this, it will be Saxon. Why would you say that? <laughs> but the very moment Tinubu got the ticket at the primaries. Who were those first members that went down on their knees and their hands and turning back like a rat, jumping up and saying, Is it not that? Uh, uh, immediately the man gets the ticket. He becomes the leader of the party. The only one person that is above and over Bolatinubu today in the party politics hierarchy is the president because he's a member of the party. So I think Abubakar is not the leader of the party. So I think Abaka shouldn't have allowed, and uh, your is doing what he's doing because of some uh, bad belly. No stomach uh, development infrastructure. Oh, uh, your okay. fire language. Stomach infrastructure. Uh, stomach infrastructure. He loaded them too much, so he must have those who. And now look at it. Look at Wiki. Wiki has no hair. Wiki said, yes, we are children. But the children brought you here to become the shaman. And Wiki went to use the language. You know Wiki? We like say it's, it's loquacious. No. It's garrulous. No. It's what? I don't know. But that is just what made that man. Wiki now said, the children brought you from the gutter. I thought I you would have bargain that you will hear sales system. And we can end up by saying just because of sixty billion, which we put together, is because of sixty billion that the man went to die now. Because he wants to prepare the invoices and the invoices of sixty billion. Say you can see people. You can see <laughs> shame that p- sixty billion. If he, he, uh, he, uh, he did not go that far, he wouldn't have received this publicly. Yes, we brought you from the gutter. Then we kept buttress how he was bought from the gutter two times. Obasi uh, 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 that employed him as a as a minister sacked him two times. He said that the senior president you were pitched. <laughs> <laughs> then you found yourself in gutter. We brought you from the gutter. Yeah. Okay. Then he responded, "It's like." I think we are tolerating this. They don't want to win the election. But since you don't want to win the election, we will help you not to win. <laughs> and now Wike has jutted out of the country with two. Benway man, Abia man. If you know you can cut Wike, how much can you cut of these two? Then Mackie is meeting them. Would, because their meeting is today. Today is Monday. Yes, today is Monday. They are meeting today. Maki they had jetted that now to go and meet them. You see, for this reason, the 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 gutter matter 
politics of gota uh, to me atikwa baka would it have allowed it to rise that far but how much can we control the man because the man have been over service the car wasn't moving too fast before now that he has been over service there's new oil there's new everything so the car is moving with speed so the con are you at forgotten where the break of the car is even so he might be going on suicidal mission the way he's going but the suicide is not on him because the more she will get is the revelation that we brought you from the gutter hmm. you want to die now because of only 16 billion uh, you were sacked two times by this one you were pissed as so where is your source of civil political day? That, but every other liability of this narration, if care is not taken, is going to be on Atiku Abubaka. I have with me here Temi Tokwe uh, Adeyemi is the subsidiary managing director managing director of Zylos. Is that the pronunciation? Uh, we prefer Zylos, sir. Okay, Zylos. Zylos group. With much zeal. Yes, sir. Zylos group. They are into many things, but here we want to talk about properties and all those. So you are welcome. Thank you, sir. How was your week? Oh, my weekend was wonderful. Now, did you ask of your weekend, the week, the last, last week. week? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, very eventful. Sir. You were far away from Lagos. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Now, we want to discuss just a few minutes now about uh, your interest. Yes, sir. What do you mean by corporate due diligence, legal due diligence, and physical due diligence in property acquisition? Oh, okay, sir. Thank you very much. You have a very limited time. So yes, sir. I understand. Hit sir. the road running. Okay, so uh, in the pre-contrast stage of buying a property, uh, we discover that if people don't do uh, comprehensive due diligence, mm. they lose their money. Mm. So that is why we teach them more on how to identify and then do this due diligence you know, thoroughly before uh, buying a property. Mm. So, corporate due diligence deals with uh, the fact-finding checks, the underground um, checks you have to make concerning a particular company mm. or a firm that is selling you a property, whether mm. land or uh, buildings. Mm. So, you have to know is this, has, what's their history? Has they been there? Have they sold for people? Have they defaulted? Have they uh, sold to people and did not allocate? These are the things you need to know. And then the legal due diligence deals with uh, the, the document that is on a particular property, mm -hmm. whether it is CFO, governor consent, exition, or what have you. So you need to uh, get the number and go to the plan. Uh, Sorry, plan can you tell me? Have, you measure CFO, yes, sir. I, uh, I would understand that. Okay, sir. You measure government, governor's consent, yes, I think... As a bushman, I would understand that. <laughs> but you measure two others. What are yes, they? Yes, uh, exition. Exition? Yes, sir. What's the meaning? Exition is uh, a type, uh, title that the government gives because uh, we have a um, government allocation mm. of a particular property. Okay. When government, government acquires a property mm. and then maybe the family comes and says, out of these 100 acres, you cannot take everything away from us. Okay. But because our family are earning from it, well, the, the government will come to a round table and say, okay, we are giving you five hectares okay. or 50-50. We are going to share it. Okay. Now, what the government gives mm. on such um, land is exition. Okay. Because particularly... That is what it, that is, that is what called. It, what it's called. Okay. So because... Oh yeah, go ahead. Any, go ahead. Any, any property that the government allocates to themselves, they use for public amenities such as parks, mm. um, barracks, mm. uh, market and all that. So mm. nobody should go there. But when they I said my good office uh, too. <laughs> uh, that is why the people have gotten that's me back from Supreme Court that's judgment. That's another issue, sir. Yes. So exition and others. So the third um, due diligence that I mentioned is the physical due diligence. Mm. How would you want to buy a land or a house? You have never been there. You didn't see the land. You just pay online or maybe you just go to that um, company and say the only person you see is the secretary, is the MD, is the uh, driver and all that. No, it's not done that way. Property is something that is tangible. You have to be there. You have to see it. You have to know the document before you pay a dime. Okay. So that is what we uh, put to, uh, put you through you know, before you buy properties from us. And they are all genuine. What are your contact addresses? Can you give it as so those who want to reach out to you can oh, okay. call Let, you and reach you? Uh, my phone number is um, 080-67-080-67-37-637-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-63-
6336. Yes, sir. Repeat it. 0806-737-6336. Mm. 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 Uh, in addition, sir, so um, next week we'll be having a, because my birthday is today, uh, I'll be supporting, we have some people we need to recruit mm. in our organization next week. Mm. So I'll be supporting five people who will mm. be coming very early with 5,000 Naira each to augment their transportation. 5,000 Naira for five people next week. Yeah, 5,000 Naira? Yes, sir. For five people. Five that comes five, early. Not 25. Yes, sir. That comes early next week. I could be there for 4.30 a.m. Uh, but <laughs> I won't move because of that. Because the other day, you know you are giving cars. Yes, sir. For the first people that buys. and uh, Yes, and I'm ready to buy three plots. <laughs> <laughs> These are people that will work with us, you know, they they are earning. Uh, to to because I said that one I will I will buy three plus so that I can handle three cars. Uh, yes sir. So I will be able I will not be looking for cars then coming because of us thousand now. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> okay so uh, what's your website? Okay. The website is www.zelosgroup.com. Okay. Zelos, it's a good thing speaking with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Now we are back to our narration because here everything is ended from uh, Zillow's. Everything is ended there. I will be talking now. I have tackled number one, number two. NMPC can't justify 6.3 <laughs> 4 trillion petrol subsidy. This is coming from the uh, custom uh, uh, controller general. Now, on the course of this discussion, I shall equally be calling Amos. Mm. He is the PRO for the Nigeria Immigration Services. We will be talking with him because I think he's standing by in the head office in Abuja. We will equally be talking with him because we want to talk about Nigeria immigration experience, different passport fees in other southern states. Uh, I will talk about that and I will call, call him when the time comes. The time is not yet wrapped because we equally have knowledge drop box that we must not flip away today. We must deal with it. And it has everything to do with your passport or passport and passport. And for that purposes, I recruit a new teacher who will be teaching me the, pro the everything about passport. And the teacher is not too far from me. Is the same person as the uh, deputy bishop, I mean deputy pope, Africa and Asia. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, let us now look at uh, item number three. NMPC can justify 6.34 trillion petrol subsidy. Nigerians, please, all over the world, thank you for following, for listening, for following the guru. What we do here is faithfully speaking truth to power. So, please, assimilate the few informations we shall be giving you now. We did the next five minutes. No, not total to five minutes, three minutes. Nigerians are being ripped off by Nigerians. For example, the government, the present government now is giving 50,000 naira to lift Nigerians out of poverty. Who wouldn't clap at the news that the government has risen in Africa, not even only in Nigeria, that want to lift people out of poverty? Who wouldn't be happy? But the Nigerian Naira, it takes 700 Nigerian Naira to buy one dollar. Some people even say 750. Then, I want to be moderate. Then, average Nigeria will be told live below a dollar. But I can confirm to you that more Nigerians now live below half a dollar. Hmm. So you now give that person 50,000 Naira to trade so as to become a multi-billionaire overnight. It is only the mathematical calculation of uh, uh, Egbo and Aburu 
that is <laughs> vice president Yemi Oshibajo, who went to the market the other day, carried that uh, akpoti, not akpoti elio, akpoti, sat on it in the market. My vice president was sharing 10,000 naira, 5,000 naira. Until the whole thing bounced back. It was like exactly the same lift out of poverty that Festus Kayamo, senior advocate of Nigeria, the minister for state in labor, uh, youth, and productivity. The 20, 20,000 naira he paid three times, making it 60,000 naira to Nigerians, 174,000 Nigerians. And at the end of the day, three third of all those people did not get their money. I still have record of them talking with me today, but I told them I am not an obutsman and I cannot go to the pub, uh, uh, to go and arrest or pick, pick somebody. You people should look for a way to get to Kayamo. That one is gone. If, we, if Kayamo era was 60,000 naira for the three months, then 50,000 naira, and what Kayamo owned, the government policy then, which was prosecuted to Kayamo, did was to push that 174,000 Nigerians into the pit of poverty. He did not lift any person. So if Kayamo pushed people into a pit of poverty, is it the 50,000 naira that will not? But that is not what I'm going to do. Madam Farouk, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. It's good to have the right contact and the right connection and where to enter. When to enter. NAPC is taking 6.34 trillion on oil subsidy. It is this oil subsidy that became a case that was looked to by our representative in the House of uh, House of Representatives at Abuja. People that have no desire to help those who elected them to office. Thank God most of them lost their uh, uh, bid. And I have always been advocating to Nigeria. Every one House of Representatives there, vote them out. So the new one that come, I'm not sure all of them are seen as well, but vote all of them out. So that the new one that will come, will not, ah, they voted this one because of this. The question is this, for you to know the amount that is due for subsidy, meaning you need to know the exact consumption rate. What did we consume? Because you pay for the subsidy per liter that is pushed into the car, which you are using. From beginning of life, what I knew of was 30 million liters per day that was what i knew of and i was part of research for that when one big broadcasting organization commissioned that i should help them to get this then suddenly we now hear that we now consume 40 million liter per day and now the papers of nmpc that are there was now has climbed to 60 million liters per day it is for this reason plus if you are explaining henceforth that i said yesterday in my broadcast that nigeria should kill nlpc otherwise nigeria would die i borrow my language from president Mohammed Buhari. he said we kill corruption or corruption will kill nigeria of course, he, su he succeeded totally in not being able to kill corruption. That is why corruption has killed Nigeria. Nigeria is killed by corruption. If I were to file the if I charge f uh, sheet of the paper to court, Nigeria will be killed by corruption. And maybe what remains now is that the a befitting barrier place for Nigeria that was killed by corruption. And this corruption that is now looking for the same unbefitting place to bury Nigeria. NLPC said Nigeria consumption per day is 60 million liters of fuel. But NLPC, NL, NLPC complicated the matter by saying they release 
96 million liters per day. You have your record, which says 60 million liters is the consumption rate of all Nigeria per day. Then, you now say that uh, uh, you are now releasing 98. Uh, their response that I even saw again today mm. uh, was they quoted a figure that they had imported between January and August of this year, mm. 16.46 billion liters of okay. PMS. Okay. And they said if you did the math... That translated to an average of about 68 million per day. And they did a similar uh, calculation for last year. Mm. It was 22.35 billion liters that were imported. Okay. And that came to 67 liters per day. Okay. And that's according to the midstream, downstream petroleum. Thank you very days. much. You see? Listeners, please listen to this important one. The group managing director of the NNPC, the one there now, Mili Koloyari, had told Nigeria Satellite that NNPC did not know the exact <laughs> consumption <laughs> by Nigerians. I follow, I go back. Now, you said now, you base your calculation on 16 million liters per day, and yet you are releasing 98 million liters per day. The 38 million liters of difference, who is it benefiting? You told me that all the garlic we eat in this household is, uh, how would I... 50 kilograms. Uh, 50 kilograms. Then, you are now releasing, you now told people that Ah, uh, but I sent to them uh, 100 kilograms. You you are the father of the house. You calculated, you say it is 50 kilograms. Why are you bringing additional 50 kilograms? It means you have made arrangement to steal this using the language, the tips that steal the oil. <laughs> Isn't this cumbersome? In every area, they steal our money. Even there is no honor among thieves anymore. Mm. Please, please, listen to this. The guru did not say it. A few days ago, the chief of Nava staff said the thieves is a connivance between them and top level of NNPC. Then last week, Thursday, the group managing director of NNPC now went to address the press. And he said, that the chief of Naval Staff was misquoted. Mm -hmm. That is a very gentleman. That, uh, yes, there are bad people in every association, but nothing like that. Probably the truth that is the, the chief of Naval Staff was never misquoted. He even came back now to say, ah, ah, that nothing like that could have been stolen. And he told you, and he said, then the NPC should play himself. Which means the man believes NLPC top level. Probably what they are saying is that I will end up this story because there are a lot of things. I remember Ulushe uh, Gobasogel uh, was our president. The vice president was uh, uh, Atikwa Abubakar. Obasogel now alleged that Atikwa Abubakar is a thief that he stole money from. Uh, I the ecological for the one of this fund. Then I took a back answer of Basogo. He said, yes, I took that. But my guy is not innocent. That he took money from that place to buy a SUV for another man wife he was taking somewhere in Abekuta. What, what, what do you read of that? Both admitted stealing. Both of them admitted being thieves. It's only the condition under which you stole from this and they are not taking away that. But at the end of them, at the end of the day, all of them are what good luck Jonathan call a Ole. That Ole is Ole. Thief is a thief. A thief, thief. So the NNPC had been indicted by the chief of Nova staff. Or let's put it this way NNPC had been indicted 
by uh, the, the Nigerian Navy. This one is saying no, it is this. This one is saying no, it is this. But the document report is that both of them are involved in the same thing. Because the Navy is saying they could the, the vessel couldn't have taken that from Nigeria. Even if the vessel that stole three million barrel of crude, if the vessel could not take that much, according to the chief of Navasa, these people they have stolen so much that their brain is not coordinating again on their head. If it let us say it's only fifty thousand barrel, the vessels too, but with fifty thousand barrel that is too, which is not much. Did you arrest the man? Did you arrest the vessel? He took the vessel at Equatorial Guinea to be arrested, not by Nigerian Navy, by that country's Navy. So why would you be telling me that? Uh, how many badges will be? You are doing calculation, calculation that covers your life. I'm talking of the chief of number staff now. He said the vessel couldn't have taken that. Okay, he took only one uh, one barrel. Is it one more barrel? Thank you, sir. We applaud you. But why did why couldn't you arrest him with the one barrel? So, if he could go <laughs> with one barrel, is it same? So, eh. <laughs> this our. This, <laughs> I will jump whatever remains. <laughs> Let me move to Nigeria immigration explaining different passport fees in northern southern states. It has it is obvious that there is a disparity between the cost of producing passport if it is 32 page passport or if it is a, 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 a 64 page passport there is there's disparity between the cost of producing it in southern nigeria and northern nigeria is it supposed to be so no but then the customs sorry the immigration services have come to explain it my friend is not picking okay hello Please, Amos Opu, are you on the line? Yes, I'm on, I can hear you. Good morning. Oh, good morning, my brother. How are you? I'm fine. Nice work. Please hold it for a second. Let me introduce you to our listeners that run all over the globe on the earth. We have followers good. listening all over the world. I am all talking right, with, a, with a Mr. Amos Opu. He's the... Uh, Nigeria Immigration Services Public Relations Officer. So, when he talks, he speaks authoritatively on behalf of the Comptroller General of the Nigeria Immigration Services and the service itself. Is, is that fairly described, uh, uh, Mr. Opu? Sorry? Is the description I give about you now, is it all right? It's all right, except that I didn't put my run. I'm a deputy controller of immigration. Come again, pl please. Deputy controller. Huh? Deputy it's controller. It's all right, but I just my run. I'm a deputy controller of immigration. Ah, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, Amos. You know, we've been talking, but we've never seen before. And you have not, and you, you selfishly deny me knowing your rank. That is why I went to the limit <laughs> I could go. <laughs> but thank you very much, <laughs> deputy controller of immigration now thank you very much you are welcome uh please i just want you to listen for two minutes then i then i will allow you about two minutes discussion into the matter please thank you very much thank you god thank bless you. you i am explaining to the world that the cost of producing a passport either the 32 page or 64 page varies between the north and the south then I ask them the question that is that fair? Then I answer no, it is not fair. Then I came to the point that okay, why it became like that? Let me explain it. If we hear it, we will know why it is like that. So the issue of dichotomy will be removed from it. Now there is what you call electronic uh, uh, passport. There is what you call enhanced. The cost of producing both, I have both. 
I have both, or I had the other one before I got the enhance. Uh, and I think I am one of the few people that got it when it was introduced. When it was introduced in first act, I got it directly. Now, the cost of producing one is higher than the other. That's just the differences. For now, the enhanced had not been introduced around Nigeria. It was like when the CBN was coming to introduce cashless society. Three main cities were picked. Abuja was picked. Lagos was picked. Port Harcourt was picked. Let us take Port Harcourt. Uh, let us take Port Harcourt. It's in southern Nigeria. Let us take Lagos. It's in southern Nigeria. Then let us take Abuja. It's the federal cap capital. Then, therefore, as of that time, the introduction of cashless society started more in the south here. It has nothing to do with the dichotomy. No, 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 no. That is the same thing with this passport now. The cities that they have been introduced, they are more on in the south than in the north. But very soon, I know, thank God the deputy controller is with us now, he will confirm it. Everything will be introduced, integrated into the system. Then you will have the passport. The e-passport, enhanced passport, which is here now, will be there. It, therefore, we have less than one minute for this call. Okay. Uh, we'll be told that one minute remain in our system. I will call uh, uh, Amos. Don't worry. Drop it. I will call you directly. Then we can. I All hope. right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. You. God thank bless you. you. Uh, before I get the deputy controller back online, <coughs> let me explain this. So this is the reason. But the thing went haywire. And people were saying, oh, uh, the north is unfavorably favored, blah, blah, blah. It is not like that. These are the reasons. But I think when he come online now, he will, he will personally talk about it for two minutes. Then we will now move to knowledge drop box, where we shall be talking of the services of the immigration to Nigeria today, by the grace of God. And the, 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 the different types of passports that are available, the official, the diplomatic, the uh, ordinary, the distant. You may not know that we have five different types of passports that are available. And you may not know that the Nigeria passport ought to... Hello? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can talk. This is my direct line. We can talk on this. So how are you? I'm very fine. And once again, thank you very much for finding time to join us. Deputy controller Amos Okup. We are grateful. Now, having finished my explanation, maybe there is one or two things you want to add why the difference of the passport? Because I've told the people the enhance is costlier, and the places they introduce it, that is what, but it has nothing to do with the cotton, is not must enjoy something free, and that is not. This is what, as please, you are the deputy uh, controller in charge of the image of the Nigerian immigration services. Please talk to your people, they are listening to you. Uh, it's a privilege, a great one for that matter, for giving us this opportunity to explain to our listeners and We don't take it for granted. Thank you. Let me quickly say that the passport we issue is for Nigerians. Yes. Irrespective of where they live or where they stay. Mm. In 2029, after about 10 years, of experimenting, experimenting the electronic passport. Yes. We saw the need for some improvement mm. because the world is dynamic. Mm. The, past, uh, the travel world is dynamic. Mm. And so we are the, the first country, apart from Poland and uh, in Africa, mm. apart from Poland and perhaps Malaysia, mm. I think Nigeria is the third country to go on a path. Mm. An enhanced passport is advanced passport. Okay. It has 
25 additional security features over yes. ordinary electronics. Thank you. And um, importantly, we have polycarbonate data fields. Mm. Not only that, it has options mm. for our great citizens. Thank you. Options in terms of validity. On the hand, you cannot have 10 year validity pass, which was not from ordinary electronics. Okay. Now, when we rolled out electronic, uh, enhanced electronic passports, we started with seven locations. Mm. One, Port Harcourt. Mm. Two, Abuja here, where I'm speaking from. Mm. Three, Guagualada. Mm. Four, Esther, Ikui, Alausa, and importantly, the ancient city of Kano. Mm. So anybody who's talking about that, Customary North and South, what about Kano, with the massive population, as far back as 2019, enhanced electronic passport was unveiled in Kano. As a matter of fact, we have two passport offices in Kano. Mm. So what is it about? We have a work plan for rollout because it is capital intensive, it is e-driven, mm. it is IT-driven. Mm. And so it's not something you just, you know, go at a blow. And, and of course, our listeners will want to know that the two passports are running concurrently. Mm. Implying that uh, we have communicated to embassies and all the nations here in the country that we have two passport regimes. Mm. So there is actually no issue with pride. Mm. I speak to you, last three weeks, we came back from where we went to hook up Aqua Evil mm. through River State yes. and by yes. to their hands. So we claim that last month, anybody who went to this three station, Aqua Evil, mm. Cross River, mm. and by Yesa, we assessed the enhanced. So as far as just as Elder Menina left up two a month ago, mm. this three station came on enhanced. Okay. So where is the issue of disparity? Mm. We're talking about international documents you issue to your citizens. Mm. What is the essence of, uh, you know, uh, dichotomy in price? Mm. There's something like that. Okay. Now, we looked at our, uh, our great citizens in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. We have linked up UK. All our this is, in UK. DCI, yeah. DCI. Yes. Yeah. Please. If there's any enemy we have in this program, it's time. Oh, I, okay. I will give you only just one minute now to round up. Okay, let, let, me, let me just summarize. Thank yes. you, thank you. So, as I speak to you, UK and there are three stations in the US, Atlanta, New York, and Washington, yes. are all on enhanced now. Yes. And Nigerians in all these places are from every part of the country. So, yes. for Nigeria immigration service, there is nothing like disparity in fees okay. between north and south of Nigeria. It's one country, it's one passport. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. We are very grateful for this because I shall be talking about immigration and the passports and everything when I'm dropping my uh, not what they call knowledge drop box at the end of this program. That will be about 10 minutes to 11 o'clock. But for now, please give my highest regards to the CGI. And thank, thank, you, thank you very much for finding time to talk with us. Bye -bye. Thank you very much, Guru. You did a great job. Bye bye. Thank you, listeners, for this audience. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. That was the voice of uh, uh, Amos Oku, the now he told me deputy controller of uh, speaking on behalf of his boss. Uh, the boss is uh, Jire uh, Isa, controller general. So Isa Jire. <laughs> I, I want to appreciate you for because it was early this morning when we spoke. He said no, but he has an assignment early this morning that will make. And uh, he's. Around 5.30, he called him, and uh, he has spoken to us. But we'll talk more about the cost. But before, <clears throat> I don't know how many minutes of call we'll be receiving today. Before we get there, I want to thank the immigration, again, Controller General, by sending a stubborn reformer, a stubborn achiever. <clears throat> the Mutala Mohammed Airport had gotten a new... Oh. <laughs> Controller. Mm. In the person of Mrs. Adiola 
Anne or Mrs. Anne Adiola Adeshokun, who revolutionized the uh, uh, passport office in Lagos, where she was posted to Festac. And the controller in charge of this area then, uh, uh, Mika Musa, even was telling her officers, go to Festac and train to combat. She was transferred to uh, headquarters, I think last year or thereabout, early last year. And uh, she's promoted now. She's now a controller. And she's brought back to Mutella Mohammed International Airport. Of all our international airports, Mutella Mohammed is number one. So for a top born reformer, and she would always get the result. Madam, I welcome you back to Lagos. And we expect for you to reenact all those things that make you great in reformation. So, Madam Anne Adiola Adesoko, you are welcome back. And Controller General, thank you for sending a reformer to Lagos. Adu, whatever we can accommodate, please help me beg them. I'm not the one to. Uh, let me just reiterate the number again 0809 uh, to get to us on the platform so we can hear your thoughts. Now, if you want to call in, it's 0809-191-3913, as well as 0809-222-0913, if special, especially if you're a lady. And, of course, uh, you can call 0809-234-5913. This is coming in from... Olushoga says Governor Wike is going about his political business in Europe unhindered, but back home in River State, he is witch hunting perceived political opponents and threatening Rivers people by declaring political meetings illegal gatherings. That is not only undemocratic and insensitive, it is capable of heating up the polity and a potential trigger of unnecessary and unavoidable crisis. <clears throat> Thank you, Lushoga, for your words. Shina Ayomi says, Guru, how will NMPC justify money spent on subsidy? Uh, Guru, have you forgotten your quote which says, to cover a lie, another lie must be created. NMPC and the present government are full of lies. Nigerians are well, are aware, beg your pardon. Beavers will teach many of them lessons uh, come 2023, and they all will be put to shame. Nigeria will be great again. Thank you for remind, reminding me. To cover one lie said, you need more nine more lies to cover it. So in totality you will, you will say ten lies. Go ahead. Olota from Bagada says, good morning Adu. Jonathan said corruption is not stealing. Whether Ole is Ole or not, this stealing has become a default amongst Nigeria officials. Who will save us? Let's go to the phone lines. Good morning. Please turn off your radio when you call. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yes, as the guru has said, you have half a minute to send, share your thoughts. Quickly. I thought you were the one it. Good morning. Um, see, this country has turned to a place where uh, somebody would just, you know, is still it has, has become a, a business of the day for politicians. They are not afraid of stealing again. They are not afraid of picking up and stealing our money. Okay, look at what I what I saw in the job the other day. Somebody who stole billions of naira was discharged and acquit. That is why I said the lawyers are the problem we have in this country because they will tell you, steal, come, we will defend you. That is, that is it. The lawyers are the problem we have in this country. I remember when the, in this country, even the politicians, they, they used to be afraid of lawyers. Police, they used to be afraid of lawyers. But now, nobody's afraid of them anymore. Okay. Nobody's you. afraid because they have soiled their hands. Somebody thank who told you. you, go and back in and send the, the court and defend him. Then people are, look at, just look at what is happening. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Have Hello. a minute, please. Hello? Yes, good morning. What's your name? Good morning, my name is Robert. Guru Migosa. Half a minute, Wobodi. Thank you, sir. No problem, sir. Um, the Guru, God bless you for the revelation. The customer that said uh, the amount of money, uh, I'm sorry, the claim of NFC is wrong. I think uh, the president is directly the minister of uh, petroleum. Mm. Okay. The GMD of NFC, can he come and reboot that uh, claim? 
of custom to convince us that what the customer was say is wrong. I mean, that just to make us make it clear to Nigeria that really this government is fighting corruption because for them to silence where well, some like me, I'm not happy about it. They should come out and I, I tell us if the customer is lying, let them come and defend themselves now. Thank you, sir. Well, they've already come out to defend themselves. That's what I was saying that they quoted the amount of imports they made this year to the tune of uh, 16 billion. Uh, liters and they did the division thereabouts and it came to about 67 68 million liters per day so it's a... hello good morning good morning good morning what's your name good morning to you oh press wires good morning yes i'm there quickly, I'm quickly. Oh, man, yeah, is here. guru is here he's here he can hear you okay half a minute for you bye-bye been... okay that is step on the uh-huh. What I've said this morning, the 50,000 you are talking about, that we, they want to give to less, less, less people, to, to make them become millionaire, millionaire. Yes, I supported it. Okay. If somebody give somebody 50,000 today, oh, have you been on the street? Those who sell it pure water, are they not feeding their family? Those who sell it up mineral, if it goes to 50,000, if they manage it very well, it can, it can become millionaire tomorrow. Okay. It can become much millionaire tomorrow. Okay, so thank you, Somebody Prince say Rice. something. Okay. What I say? Thank you, Prince Wise. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I don't make I stop here. Thank you, Prince Wise. Uh, Charles says, good morning. Let's just change the NNPC to FNPC uh, and let the sabotage end since we cannot beat them to their game. What the, is the meaning of his uh, F? Uh, I, I'm choosing to <laughs> to put that under discretion <laughs> so that it doesn't <laughs> doesn't come across as being tribalistic. Good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good morning. From? Yes, what's your Hello, name? Hello, good morning. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. This is Mr. Patrick calling from Gold. All right, Mr. Patrick. Thank you. You Go have ahead. half a minute, please. Yeah, all that good. I can not see you. Thank you, sir. We only hear immigration, no recruitment, no announcement of recruitment of immigration. No. Another thing I want to say about the uh, article. Uh, as Buhari is gathering all the opposed to the northerners, so those are the article do. Uh, because I suppose that as the, as the president candidate, the staff will have the chairman. But since they are going the same way, no problem. We have alternative. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hello. Hello, Mr. Ado. Good morning. Good morning, Peter. Yeah, good morning, the guru. Salute you. Please go ahead. Uh, well, I, just, I don't have much, but let me just congratulate um, APC under the leadership of um, Ahmadu Buhari and Oshiba Job for being able to make sure Nigeria is killed or Nigeria is dead, the guru, according to you. Then I ask this question to Nigerians. Will we allow in 2023... APC again under the leadership of Tinubu and Shetima to come to give Nigeria a visiting burial, whether they will even have the money to give a visiting burial, or can we join hands together and call on Jesus, who resurrected Lazarus after four days, to come and help us resurrect Nigeria for us, because we don't need that uh, visiting burial. Please, Nigerians, can we make sure that APC does not come and give Nigeria a visiting burial in 2023? The question is left for you to answer, Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's read one final message and then... Uh, don't, don't we have three today? Um, well, Rhoda will tell us. Uh, this is from Alex. Alex says, good morning, Adu. This giving 50,000 naira to set up small businesses, do we have the facilities to support these businesses? The government is good at putting the cart before... The horse. Okay. Rhoda, um, do we have Be quick. Seat? All right. Let's go call. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, sir. Yes. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Guru, please, there is something that happened last week. Please, okay. I want to share it uh, with everybody. Half a minute. You see, yeah, the, what really happened is that I see those uh, soldiers. My name is Sunday. I'm calling from Lexi. Those uh, soldiers that they say they refuse order, what do they call them? Say they don't want to go and die. 
because some of them say they refuse the order because they were not giving the ammunition to fight, about 500 of them. And they went ahead to pay them for almost seven years. I think uh, this family uh, file was on top of the matter. At the end of the day, they had to tell them to release them from prison, and they said they should pay some of them, they should pay them. Those that are willing to continue the job, let them continue. It was very sad. Unfortunately, last week Saturday, some of them that they are still in the barracks, they see went ahead to throw them outside and they say they have dismissed them. So I am calling on the relevant authority that they shouldn't allow these people to go like that. They shouldn't allow these people to go into another frustration. Okay. Dismissing about 500 soldiers. Okay. It's not as if they refuse to do this job. Okay. You refuse to give the ammunition to fight. Okay, sir. Time, time up. Time up. Time up. Time up. Thank you very much. We we'll listen to you and we will see what we can do by fast tracking the complaint to the authority because we don't have the power to adjudicate on that here. But we let the your tweet, please. Um, she she said that we don't have it. Oh, we do, we do. oh, we do. Okay. 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 Um, uh, Twitter Lagos Talks nine one three. Sheon says. Good day. After four months of capture at the passport office Ikoyi on May 3rd, the officers are asking for money to fast track passport collection. You they don't have to give, like the man said here, dying. Don't give. Don't give. Get to the, every passport collection center. We have three Lagos First Track, Ikeja, and Ikoyi. Go there, ask of the public relation officer. And if you meet the public relation officer, Tell the public relations officer that you heard it from Guru on radio. Saying you should come to him. He should take that because some officers here are asking for money. They will give you. Don't give. You would give. you. Uh, there was a constitution that provided for j for a giver or bribe. The man who is asking, you who is giving, you are committing the same offense now. It's like Bugari and I mean... Uh, Obasi Ogun and his, uh, who said, you took motor to buy for your girlfriend, you took money to buy, and you took to do this, all our money. <laughs> it's too cool. <laughs> too cool is him. Go. Adede Jadegbega says, ordinarily you'll expect a president that is not active, uh, that is not active to have set up an inquiring, inquiring that, that panel. That is active? A president that is active? That is active, not okay. okay. You can okay. skip that because okay. we don't have time. Um, to have set up that is active to have set up an inquiring panel to investigate the allegations and counter accusations of oil theft between an NPC boss and the custom boss. Sadly, nothing of such will ever happen again. Uh, I think we would have concluded that the man is talking about for I think we got for your information is Minister of Petroleum Resources for Nigeria. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Now, oh, I time for the knowledge drop box. That's good. Let's go there. You are welcome back to knowledge drop box. Today, we want to discuss our passports. One, how many types of passport do we have in Nigeria that can be issued? Who are those that are qualified for each category? Then we ask all that question. We answer them. We try to rush it because time is no more on our side. The five different types of passports in Nigeria are one. They call the standard passport. Two, diplomatic passport. Three, official passport. Four, Siemens passport. E, uh, five, pilgrims passport. You have standard, you have diplomatic, you have official, you have Siemens, you have pilgrims. Who are those that are to use this? Mm. This passport type is for protocol officers in government and government ambassadors. Why official is for government officials. The seamen, they have their different passport. The seamen. Those are the five categories. What the the seamen in terms of sailors? Sailors, yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't know, know the seamen. <laughs> I've been suspecting this dress you wear today. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's valid for foreign exchange. <laughs> now, what is the difference between Nigeria official passport and the standard passport? Let me answer that question quickly. To apply for a new passport, the Nigeria Immigration Services currently only issues electronic passports, e passport. Then there is enhanced e-passport, as the 
deputy controller discourse for new application. Ordinary citizens can apply for a standard e-passport, which is green cover. Why official, the same Nigeria government official, are, apply for e-passport? The difference is blue cover. The standard one is green cover. The other one is blue cover. They are reserved for government officials and Nigeria diplomats. How long does it take to get a Nigeria passport? I think this is the question you want to listen to well because I want to provide the answer now. And if anything is going to the contrary, please don't call the guru. The guru is not a runner for passport offices. Don't call the guru. He, what I'm telling you and I'm empowering you, so use your knowledge and follow it up and you will get a result. How long does it take to get a Nigeria passport? Average passport processing time takes up to three weeks for renewers and reissue and up to six weeks for first-time applicants. There is a difference between you coming to get your passport for the first time. There is a renewal. There is a reissue. The time lag, the, the, the renewal, the reissue, three, three weeks. But the brand new one, you are coming for the first time. It takes up to six weeks. And because of the Nigeria factor, so sometimes electricity will not be there. Consider to add about two, two weeks or three, three weeks to each of those categories. Then, what is the difference between 32 and 64 page passport? You should, because the cost is different, you should be aware that there are two types of Nigeria passport the 64 pages passport, which is for more frequent travelers, and the 32 page passport for less frequent travelers. Which is the most powerful passport in the whole world? Please, this has nothing to do with our Nigeria passport. But of all the countries in the passport in the whole world, which country that its passport is number one all over the world? Mm. Some people may be thinking America or so now. It's Japanese. It's, uh, in 20, this year, the most powerful passport in the world in terms of travel freedom is the Japanese passport. According to HPI, a passport issued by Japan allows the holder to enter 193 different countries and territories without having to get a visa in advance. Singapore and South Korea are tied for second place. I think Nigeria is um, 97, please. I may come to that. How many countries can Nigeria passport go without visa? Please listen to this. I'm releasing it to you with an amendment because things have changed. The Nigeria passport ranking is 97. That is it. The Nigeria passport is number seven, uh, 97 in the world. For pre We are limited anyway. There is nothing too new about that. The number of visa-free destinations accessible with a Nigeria passport is 47. But the, the 47 have crashed down. So we have about 39 countries you can enter with Nigeria passport, either they waive you to go in without any visa or they give you visa on arrival there. Please note, the list of visa-free countries is calculated to reflect the number of countries Nigeria passport holder can enter without a visa, through a visa on arrival and through the ETA. Can one have two Nigeria passports? Is a question. It is a criminal offense to have two valid Nigeria passports. If such a person is caught, the person will be made to pay a fine of three million naira or face jail time. Then, which are Nigeria passport visa-free countries? You need to know them. <laughs> but I say it has been amended and reduced. The Nigeria passport ranking is 97. I've said that earlier. The number of visa-free destinations accessible with a Nigeria passport is 47. Please note, the list of visa-free countries is calculated to reflect the number of countries Nigeria passport holders can enter without a visa through a visa on arrival and through ETA. They have been reduced to, from 47 to about uh, 90, um, 39. 39 also. Even the 39, about three crash within the last six months. Is he a surprise? <laughs> okay. Uh, here we are. Yes, sir. I don't know if we enjoyed the right read. Oh, yes, I did enjoy. And thank you for letting uh, us have a conversation with uh, DCI uh, Amos. Amos. Opo. Yeah. I am hoping, very soon by the grace of God, I will bring the Comptroller General here to come and talk with us. Uh, many other things that are happening. 
I mean, it is not. I will end this conversation by saying, please, if you are having issue with your passport, don't call the guru. Every knowledge that the guru would equally go there to use, he has given it to you. And please, I don't know more than 15 officers of the Nigerian immigration. So, like people will be calling me, a policeman is taking money from me. Do I know the police? And I cannot be doing it. And if you want me to come out at night, what about that bullet that may mistakenly come into my head? You are not thinking of it. The, the, as young as I am, they want me to die young. Eh? Mm. <laughs> at 25. <laughs> now, I want to thank every person. Uh, Adu, thank you very much. Coast yes, Coast, sir. thank you. Uh, Ferrami, thank you for all the good job that we've done today. Uh, what we could not discuss out of the menu, I promise you I'll bring them your way on Tuesday and uh, Wednesday. Wednesday during the morning ride. You follow me on Twitter at Godwin underscore Buebu on Twitter. Then Facebook, Godwin Ataki Buebu. A column created for discussion of things like this is called Vetra Column. And then for those who want to know about the approach of NNPC, inflating consumption, please, as I'm talking to you now, there is an upload to my YouTube channel. Go there and you will see the mogumogu with which these people are killing us in Nigeria. Ah, they are chopping the tea too much. And that is why there is no more money to do. Go there right now. Uh, log into Godwin the Guru on YouTube mm -hmm. and follow. There you can follow. You can go to my website www.godwinthiguru.com. So, Adu. Yes, sir. We've taken. Ah, Paula, you are welcome. You're looking so tantalizing today. So, ah, ah. <laughs> so tata, you are welcome. Do people want to hear your voice from the guru's perspective? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Guru. Good morning, Adu. Thank you. I'm shy. I'm very shy. Oh now. yes, she is, she is. And so beautifully shy because she's beautiful. Amen. Uh, Won't you tell the people bye bye? Good morning, Lagos. Thank you for listening. Bye from this side. And my name is Kosi. <laughs> And we call her our own couscous. Couscous, couscous. So until we meet again, please keep yourself out of trouble. Bye bye.